Welcome to Graphic Hunt YouTube channel. In this Photoshop text effect tutorial, we'll learn how to create text looking like glass container and partly filled with liquid. This is the final result after all steps. Start by creating a new document of width 1500 pixels and height 1000 pixels. Click on the foreground color icon and set the color value to AC 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 in the color picker window. Similarly, set the background to E1 E1 E1. Pick up the gradient tool from the tools bar and check foreground to background gradient is active in the options bar. With the gradient tool, Draw a gradient line from the bottom to the top of the document. Pick the type tool from the tools bar. Select the font from the options bar. I select the Cooper standard and the color as dbdbdb. Now, type the text on the document. After typing, scale and align to the center of the document. Duplicate the type layer and rename them to your reference. Double click on the bottom text layer to bring up the layer style window. Click on bevel and emboss. Directly on the words. Click on reset to defaults button first. In the structure section, set the size to 9 pixels and the soften to 2 pixels. In the shading section, first uncheck use global light and set the angle to 132 degree. Altitude 11 degree. Gloss contour as log and check anti aliased on. Leave the shadow mode to multiply and change the color to CB CB CB. Change both the opacity of highlight mode and shadow mode to 75%. Next, click on contour in the left column. Set the contour to ring and check anti-aliased on. Set the range to 100%. Click on inner shadow now. Leave the blend mode to multiply and the color to black. Change the opacity to 75%, uncheck use global light and set angle to 120 degree. Change distance 0 pixel and size 6 pixels. In quality section, change contour to log and leave anti-aliased unchecked. Now click on drop shadow. In the structure section leave blend mode to multiply and color as 707070. Opacity to 75%.
Uncheck Use Global Light and Set Angle to 44 Degree. Distance 1 Pixel and Size 8 Pixels. Leave Quality Settings as it is. Click OK to close the window when done. So far we obtained is this. Make the layer Photoshop top active and set the fill value to 0%. Double click on the layer to bring up the layer style editor. Click on bevel and emboss. In the structure section, set the size to 10 pixels and soften to 2 pixels. In shading, adjust angle to minus 78 degree. Leave global light unchecked and set altitude to 16 degree. Choose notched slope rounded for gloss contour and check anti-aliased on. Change shadow mode to color burn and set color using code DBDBDB. Click on inner shadow. Leave all the settings as it is that Photoshop automatically saved when we did for the top layer. Click on contour in the styles column. Click on contour and select peaks from the list. Leave the range to 100%. Click OK to close the window. Pick the rectangle tool from the tools bar and make the Photoshop bottom layer active. Set the fill color for the rectangle with color code AA4280. Draw a rectangle over the text covering only a part of it. Go up to the filter menu, click distort and select wave. Click rasterize when prompted. Set wavelength 100 for minimum and maximum. For amplitude, 1 for minimum and 10 for maximum. Hit OK. Again from the filter menu, select ripple from distort. Adjust the slider to give little more wave effect. Now, with the rectangle one layer still selected, hold Ctrl or Command key and click on the text layer's thumbnail, then click on the add layer mask icon at the bottom of the layers panel. Double click on the rectangle shape layer to bring up the layer style window. Click on bevel and emboss. Set size to 9 pixels and soften to 3 pixels. For shading, angle 13, altitude 42, gloss contour ring triple and enter color code C05193 for shadow mode.
Next, click on Inner Shadow. Leave Blend Mode to multiply and change color by entering the code AF30BA. Check Use Global Light On and leave Angle to 120 degree. Distance 0 pixel, Choke 0% and Size 16 pixels. Click on Satin in Styles column. For Blend Mode, enter color code AA4280. Angle 19 degree. Distance 11 pixels, size 22 pixels, contour cone, and uncheck anti-aliased. For color overlay, set the blend mode to hard light and enter color code D3459A in the color picker window. Next is Gradient Overlay. Set the Blend Mode to Soft Light. Final is Drop Shadow. Leave the Blend Mode to Multiply and set color using code 9E005D. Angle minus 75 degree, distance 3 pixels, sped 12% and size 3 pixels. Hit OK when done. This is what we have so far. To add more effect to the liquid, let's add some texture patterns. Bring up the Layer Styles window again for the Rectangle Shape layer and click Texture in the Styles column. Select the pattern that you like and the one which give a good appearance to your design. Here I choose the familiar one, that is the Bubbles pattern which is mostly available in all versions of Photoshop. By default, it is not seen in the list. So I have to append it from the other presets. To change the color of the liquid, Use the hue and saturation adjustments and adjust the sliders for your convenience. I hope this tutorial is useful and you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe.